In this video, I will very quickly acquaint you with the newish Malahit DSP2 SDR radio, the ultimate radio dork radio. This receiver is so cool that even the non-radio dorks will want one, and it will definitely impress the chicks. And I will acquaint you with this radio quickly and stick to just the features of this radio for two reasons. Number A, I am not a radio dork, and I do not usually review this kind of a radio. And number three, I fully understand that you think your time is very valuable, and I am sure that you have some very important TikTok videos to watch. When you purchase the newish Mahalit, Mahalit DSP SDR radio in the box, you will receive this very nice and quite sturdy carry case. You will receive these two heavier duty knobs that can replace the stock knobs that come with the radio. You will receive this little bracket thingy, which is used to hold the radio up or something. I'm not really sure. You will receive this USB-C's charging cable. One end plugs into the USB-C's hole on the radio, the other into a USB-A's type charger, not included. You will receive this handsome wrist strap. Initially, I thought it was leather and was very excited, but it turns out it is just plastic. You will receive a telescoping, telescoping antenna, which to be honest, does not work very well for receiving signals from many fars away. Unfortunately, due to the laws of physics, if you want to listen to signals from many fars away, you will need to attach a large antenna that is designed or tuned for the Pacific frequency range that you wish to listen to. And unfortunately, I do not have one of those. You will receive a user manual, 30 pages long, written in good English, and it does a fair job of explaining all of the features of the radio. And you will receive the Malahit, Mahalit, Mahalit DSP2 SDR radio. On the radio, you will find a volume control, a frequency selector dial, two antenna inputs of the SMA flavor, one for a regular 50 ohm type antenna, the other for a high Z antenna. On the side, you'll find headphone jacks, the previously mentioned USB-C's hole, a standby button, and a power on and off switch. And this radio is not cheap. For your convenience, I will place an affiliate link in the information section below so that you can get more information about this radio or purchase one for your very self. However, before you go clicking on that link, I feel it is my duty to inform you that you will have to shell out about $480 of monies if you want one of these radios. That is correct. You heard me right. $480 of monies. And I should also point out that the Mahalit, Malahit, Mahalit Corporation did send me this SDR receiver at no cost so that I could share it with you my favorite viewer. Seriously though, this thing is expensive, but if you are a radio dork, I am sure that you will agree that it is well worth those monies, especially if you can talk your mom into paying for it. Now, no doubt it is at this point in the video that some people will leave stupid comments proclaiming, proclaiming, that you could just get a $50 USB SDR dongle and plug it into your computer and do all of the exact same things that this radio can do. And my friend, anyone that says that should be ignored with extreme prejudice. Because what some people with their risperidone-soaked brains fail to realize is that not only is this smaller, and more portable than a computer or a laptop, even smaller than most tablet computers. But you cannot simply toss your computer into the back seat of your car or your backpack and carry it around with you like you can with one of these. On a computer, you cannot quickly and easily hit just one switch to turn it on instantly, by the way, nor can you just turn one knob 
to adjust the volume or the frequency. With this receiver, there is virtually no setup or fiddling to do. You do not have to download any software or drivers, nor do you have to update your antivirus to use it. And if you drop your computer, it probably will not work out as well if you were to accidentally drop this. And speaking of dropping this radio, this receiver is very heavy. And that is because the entire case is made out of solid aluminum. For comparison, using a standardized unit of measurement, this Boofwang UV5R, now referred to in some countries as a boom fang, weighs just over seven Aussies. And the Mahalit DSP-2 radio weighs 18 and a half Aussies. It is heavy. It has a very solid feel, and it is heavy. This receiver has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so it just keeps on going and going. However, the user manual does not say anything about the battery being user replaceable. But when you crack open the solid aluminum case, it looks like the battery can be replaced. But I did not actually remove it myself, so do not quote me on that. Now before I go any further, I should mention that based on previous videos that I have made about this type of radio, many people are confuculated and leave comments asking if this kind of radio can also transmit. So just to prevent any additional such confuculularity on this video, allow me to preemptively deconfuculate everyone. No, this radio is a receive-only radio. It does not transmit. With this radio, you can listen to basically anything from 10 kilohertz, not megahertz, kilohertz, all the way up to 2 gigahertz, with the exception of 381 to 403 my gigahertz. You cannot listen to 381 to 403 my gigahertz. I do not know why the radio will not receive that tiny window of frequencies. Hopefully someone will leave a long and overly complicated comment and explain it to all of us normal people. The radio is also fairly large, measuring at this big by that big by about that big. As you can see with your very own vision bags, this receiver has a very large touch screen and that is, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just cannot resist any longer. Okay, where was I? You use the large touch screen to control almost everything on the radio, although a few things can be adjusted by pressing and or turning the previously mentioned knobs. To listen to a frequency, just enter it in, and you can see that it will also display everything that is going on above and below that frequency. And if you see something interesting going on somewhere else, you can just tap on it to tune to it and listen to it, or you can use the frequency knob to scroll over to it. And the frequency step is also adjustable to scroll faster or slower. And you can change the monitoring bandwidth or zoom in and out by tapping the blue waterfall area. This receiver can receive or decode AM, Wideband FM, also known as commercial FM radio, narrowband FM, airband, upper sideband, lower sideband, and DSB. And speaking of DSB, I do not know what DSB is, so someone please leave a comment and explain it for all of us normal people. And the radio can receive CW, which is the Morse code, and not only can it receive Morse code, but it can decode the Morse code and display it on the screen. Although I have not been able to find anyone actually transmitting in the Morse code to test that out and to see how well the decoding actually works. Yeah, I'm my last one right now and then I'm gonna start getting these, uh, getting my pickup. So, yeah, getting there. I think you're gonna do a once a bell at lunch, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit here and uh, kinda just relax, listen to music, watch videos on beauty call here in about uh, 30 minutes or so. 
The receiver can also decode FT8 and RTTY, which I believe many of the licensed and certified ham radio operators refer to as not real radio. You can connect the receiver to a computer via the USB-C's wire and control it with SDR software or the OmniRig softwares, but I did not bother to do any of that because, seriously, I am not that big of a radio dork. And the firmware is upgradable, which means if there is a bug or the boys and girls at the Malahit factory come up with some great new feature, you can apply it to the radio. The receiver comes with all of the popular radio bands preset. And you can save your own frequencies, and it will even scan through frequency ranges and save whatever it finds. And yes, it can scan and monitor the CB radio frequencies. And as you can see, the receiver has a plethora of settings and controls guaranteed to give a true radio dork wet radio dreams. Overall, this is a very nice, very rugged, serious SDR type receiver that is sure to keep any radio dork occupied for hours on end. The end.